All right, let me show you how to find where two lines intersect by a method called substitution. Here's the deal. These are two equations for lines. They have different slopes, and so they're going to intersect once somewhere in the entire xy plane. We want the coordinates of that point. Here's how substitution works. All you need to do is isolate one of the variables. It doesn't matter which one, x or y, and it doesn't matter which equation you do it in. Here's what I mean. I see there's just a plain y sitting here. I'm going to move that y to the other side. I have negative 3x, negative 1 on the right, but I'm going to move the y to the other side. Now I want y on its own because I'm isolating my variable, so I move my negative 1 to the other side. Don't forget to flip the sign. And it turns out y equals negative 3x plus 1. If I was graphing this, I'd plot my y-intercept at 1, and then use the slope to go right 1, down 3, plot my point, right 1, down 3, blah, blah, blah. What matters here, though, is that y is negative 3x plus 1. They're the same thing according to the second equation. So let me rewrite that first equation for you. 2x minus 4y. But y is this. So instead of writing y, I'm going to replace it with something that is equal to y. See? 2x minus 4y. And they're the same thing according to my isolated variable equals 10. Now, I think you'll find if you multiply all this out, collect your like terms, and solve for x, you'll get a number. <sighs> Only one way to find out. 2x plus 12x minus 4 equals 10. See how I multiplied the negative 4 through the brackets? That means I have 14x on the left. I move the negative 4 to the other side, get 10 plus 4. And to solve for x, I divide both sides by 14. Turns out x is 1. Awesome. Now I know the x coordinate of my point of intersection. And all I need to do to find the y coordinate of that same point is to plug it back into the first formula we had. What's that, you say? y is 3x plus 1. But you already found that x is 1. See? Plug it in. I think you'll find you get negative 3 plus 1, or negative 2. I'll rewrite y for you. So what we have now is that x is 1, y is negative 2. And the point of intersection between these two lines is at 1 comma negative 2. The key to substitution is to isolate some variable, either x or y. Get it so it's y equals this, or x equals that. Then rewrite your other equation, but substitute the variable that you solved for with another expression. Here, I isolated y. So when I rewrote my expression, 2x minus 4y, I substituted what I found from down here. Solved for x, plugged that back in to get y, and I was done. Piece of cake. Good best of luck in your own intersection endeavors.